Jason, uh, Jack Campbell gets to, to face his whole team for the first time. What's your perspective on, I know he's hard, hard on himself pretty much all the time, but how he's kind of improved in handling his emotions since you've been around him? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it, He's a guy that's a, it's a good quality in the sense where he, you know, he, he judges his game harshly and, you know, expects a lot of himself. But it's also, uh, as teammates, you remind him that, you know, it's a team game and a lot of times that situations that he feels are his fault or, or not and you have to, you know, help him with that. But I think it, it shows the passion he has and the drive he has and why he's had the success he has. Uh, but he has, you know, I think the more and more you play, the more and more you're around, you learn to kind of manage the emotions that way. And uh, he's shown great growth in that department. What's he meant to the team through the stretch? Yeah, just incredible stability. Uh, you know, we went into the year with, you know, him and Pete, and, and Pete's about, you know dealt with some injuries, and it's been a lot for Jack to have to play. He's, you know, he's had to miss practices to keep his, you know, workload down and uh, handled it all in stride. Found a good routine, and uh, you know, it's demanding. You don't see a lot of guys carry the workload, you know, the way he's been carrying here uh, now in the league. So it speaks to just his dedication to, you know, get himself ready day in, day out. And, and that's not just at the rink. You know, he's, you know, he's taking care of himself away from the rink. He's, you know, making sure he's getting rest when he's going home and coming fresh the next day. What's your sense of uh, <laughs> your line and how Nick Ritchie's fit in on it? Yeah, he's been great for us, I think. Uh, you know, I think he feels comfortable playing with me and Simmer. Uh, we talk to him a lot. We try to, you know, keep engaged. Uh, when you play on the fourth line at times you have lulls in the game where you don't get as many shifts so it's important that you know you keep the dialogue up on the bench uh, and so you can build off your past shifts and uh, I think you know he's done a good job protecting pucks and getting around the net and uh, you know he's, he's helped us for sure and we've been able to give us some quality shifts. How big is the win streak in helping all the new guys sort of assimilate better? I'm sure it's a better environment to Kashe, Kromp, Nick, all the new guys? I think when you win games and you win them the right way, like we've done here for a little bit now, is you know you feel what that feels like as a team, and you know you can replicate it, and um, that's why I think you see teams go on winning streaks is because you know you get a feeling of kind of what the recipe is, and and likewise when you've lost a few, it's you know you're, you're searching to find that game back. So I think to, to help those guys out, it's it's been great because you know we know what it feels like when we're playing well now, so now it gives us a bit of a blueprint to what to get back to if, if we get away from it. I think we've had, you know, maybe a period or half periods here and there that we haven't liked, but we've been able to get back to it quickly, and that's a, a good sign for us. Austin, Mitch, John, William, if one or two of them are going, it's they can take over a game. What's it feel like when all four of them seem to be kind of hitting their stride at the same time? Yeah, of course. You know, you get uh, special teams, a big part of the league. Uh, special teams have been very good for us here lately. Um, and you know, those guys are our top guys. And when they control the play, we seem to have the puck a lot. You know, the confidence spreads through the team. Uh, I think the confidence spreads with each other. And, you know, the reality is Austin missed camp. It was going to be tough for him to get off to a fast start. It's a, you know, ex he's an exceptional player, but it's a tough league. And when you miss that much time, I know we all wanted him to just come back and, you know, you know feel completely normal. But, uh, you know, now that he's hit his stride, you can tell he's controlling games again. And, and he does special things out there. What has stood out to you about how Timothy Lilligren has kind of taken this opportunity with the run of games here? Yeah, I think just a lot more confidence. Confidence in just his daily interactions with the guys, confidence in his play. I think uh, Dino's been great for him. He's really you know, made it clear what he wants. I know like when I talk to Tim, he seems like he, he knows exactly what a good game looks like for him. And I think as a young player, that's what you need to know is kind of what's the expectation from the the coaches and uh, he's been very predictable on the ice, which, you know, playing with him, I've taken a lot of shifts with Sandy and, and Timmy and I find he's been very predictable with his puck play and very crisp and, um, you know, he thinks the game really well. So when he plays simple like that, his, his skills come out. As an offensive kind of minded guy, what's your perspective on what makes Philip Deneau a tough guy to break down? Yeah, he just, his, his value system is the check, you know, similar to like how Camper is here. Um, and I know that, uh, you know, he's a guy that takes a lot of pride in trying to shut guys down. And, you know, we've seen him a lot here the last couple of years. And uh, he seems to have been success in L.A. too. I can't say I've, you know, seen him too much, you know, with the L.A. games. But uh, he's a guy that checks real well, you know, is above the puck all the time, makes it hard for you.